listening to the Good Morning Hamilton podcast from 900 CHML. A new survey by Angus Reid in partnership with Daily Bread Food Bank and Disability Without Poverty has found that while there is overwhelming support for a Canada disability benefit, there are doubts about its implementation and distrust that the government is actually going to follow. Rabia Cutter is the National Director with Disability Without Poverty and joins us on Good Morning Hamilton. Rabia, good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I am fabulous because I'm celebrating Eid today and joining you on this call. I, I am very happy that you're doing so. Um, before we get into some of the survey responses, what would a Canada disability benefit look like? Well, disabled people in this country make up 27% of the Canadian population, and one in four live in poverty. Given that reality, their provincial benefits, incomes, programs, uh, keep them about 30% below the poverty line. So, for example, in Ontario, people on ODSP receive a maximum of around uh, $1,300, whereas the poverty level is about $2,300 a month. So about $1,000 below poverty. So what a Canada disability benefit ideally would look like at least is an amount that would top up people to the poverty line. So how would this, would this be calculated the same as it is for ODSP, for example? It would be a national supplement. Uh, it would be a Assumingly based on the degree of poverty that people are facing. So it should be a top up similar to the guaranteed income supplement for seniors. Would it replace ODSB or would it complement it? It should definitely be complementing. We are confident that provincial governments uh, want to address disability poverty and have income benefits programs that they will continue indexing to inflation and, and will harmonize this new federal benefit without any clawbacks. We're working really hard, province by province, to send that message out that provincial governments should definitely not claw back this benefit because people with disabilities are living in significant poverty and it's not good enough for Canada and Canadians, as you see from our Angus Reid uh, poll results. 91% of Canadians want to see the Canada Disability Benefit realized, and the majority of them want it to, to top up people's income to the poverty line or above the poverty line. Yeah, that survey that you referred to, 91% of respondents want to see this happening. They support this proposed Canada Disability Benefit, but only 5% are confident that the federal government is actually going to make it a reality. How sobering of a number is that? Well, we're pretty confident that the government's going to make this happen. And the reason we're very confident is we saw tremendous parliamentarian uh Spirit throughout the journey of, of C-22, the bill that became the Canada Disability Benefit Act, throughout the House at various stages of our parliamentary process of getting it into legislation, all party support was mobilized. So, and, and that's what we're seeing reflected even in uh, this poll, that, you know, there's overwhelming support of voters across all party lines to see this happen. Talking about the possibility of a Canada disability benefit with our guest, Rabia Cutter, the National Director of Disability Without Poverty. And a new survey shows that a lot of Canadians want to see this happening, but not so many are confident that the government is going to follow through. Do we know how many Canadians would qualify right now? There are 1.4 million to a million Canadians living in poverty. And, you know, that's worsening by the day. So this benefit is welcomed relief. We are anticipating an announcement in this budget. We are hopeful that it will be an adequate amount because the finance minister, the prime minister, cabinet ministers, MPs across all party lines have heard loud and clear from everyday Canadians, including people with disabilities, that this is crucial now. And we are appreciative of a promise that was made by the Prime Minister in September 2020 um, and was passed through Parliament with unanimous consent that in that same spirit, 
This government is going to table an adequate benefit next week. We are very hopeful about that. When we look at uh, the cost of living, inflation, rising food prices, transportation costs, I would gather that a benefit like this would have an outstanding impact on people with disabilities. Oh, absolutely. And this is why, you know, we carried out our own consultation process through the Shape the CDB Close to 5,000 Canadians with disabilities and caregivers gave us input, and they all talked about the possibilities, and we titled our report Disability with Possibility. So this top-up benefit, the Canada Disability Benefit, is not a cost. It's an investment in unleashing endless possibilities of contribution that disabled people have to make, like me. You know, I have been, I don't qualify for this benefit because I've been fortunate enough to work. But as a blind person, I have that lived experience. I understand the struggle. I advocate for family members with intellectual disabilities who, if they did not have family support, would be in the struggle of poverty if they only had access to ODSP. Uh, That is uh, some amazing insight, and uh, we have our fingers crossed this will help uh, a lot of Canadians from coast to coast to coast. Uh, Rabia Qatar, National Director with Disability Without Poverty. Enjoy the day. Eid Mubarak as well.